Hello, it's me, and this is a by request. Viewer had an interesting request, an interesting challenge. You can see before you just a normal standard 3x3. No tricks with this one. This is just a normal 3x3. And the challenge was, can this be solved with using only 180 degree turns? 180, uh, 180 degree turns. And the answer is, yes, it can, but in order to solve it with 180 degree turns, you have to scramble it with 180 degree turns. If you scramble it using 90 degree turns, you can't solve it with 180s because eventually this piece has to go like, like that. So you won't be able to do it that way. So I assume what you meant is that after scrambling it with 180 degree turns, can you solve it? that way and of, of course you can. So we're going to walk through how to do that and that's right up my alley because really what you're doing when you're solving it is it's just like the 3x4x5 and the 4x5x6 after you've got it back into the cuboid form. It's all parity algorithms and there's only one algorithm that you're going to need to know with this and I'm going to demonstrate what that algorithm is now. It's important to know what it is but also the effects that it has. Now as you recall with the parity algorithms, uh, if you've seen previous tutorials, if not We'll go through it. There's an odd number one and an even number one. It's a standard cuboid parity algorithm when you have two of these pieces that need to be swapped. If you just have an odd number, then there's a variation to that. If it's even number, there's another variation. But what this algorithm is going to do is it's going to swap these two and it's going to swap these two. So you put this parity back, but you're going to create parity at right angles to that. And this is what that algorithm is. It's going to be 2u, splitting it here, 2u, 2r, 2f, and then 2u, and then reverse it, 2f, 2r, 2u, and then 2f. Now, had this been a parity, it would have been fixed. But what you also did is you created parity on this side here as well. So we're going to want to understand that and to be able to coordinate that because of the parities that you create. And you, you create this kind of a situation. But that's all you need to know. The rest is strategy and setup. So again, with 180 degree turns, we're going to do that, scramble it like that. I'll get a good scramble going on. And then we'll pick it up with that and work through it together. Abracadabra. Okay, that's pretty good. There's only so much scrambling, I guess, that you can do with this. So the first step with, with this puzzle, try to take out an, any symmetries that might exist here. The first step is to get your corners in. Now, this is the easiest step. It's a lot easier than it might sound. And when you think about it, there's only four pieces that you have to line up. And you can almost solve it like that quite by accident. But just kind of taking a look around, uh, much of it is probably already in. So I see the green, the two greens, and the yellows. So I'm looking at this. They're not where they need to be because this orange is with this red. It's a 180 degree turn over here. So this is in. These two are in. What about the other one? It's not far behind. It's going to be here. So double turn that here. These are the green and white edges, which is going to come up to here to the green side. And double turn it here. Okay, I went through that kind of fast because it really truly is as easy as it sounds. So in, in, in. Once you've done that, all the others will be in as well. So basically, all of your corners are in. And uh, I invite you to, to try that. Um, it's really not too difficult. So next we have just the uh, centers, uh, just the edges rather. Now with these edges, what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for parity opportunities. A parity opportunity is where you have two that you want to flip on the other side. So let's just look for some of those. Um, well, here's a red and an orange that are on the wrong side and they're both yellow. So holding it here, I'm actually going to kill two birds with one stone because these will flip in and these will also flip and they need to flip. So that's what you're going to be looking for. So let's apply our algorithm to u, to r, to f, to u, then to f, to r, to u, to f. These are fixed and these got swapped. It's not exactly fixed, but it's eh, getting close. Same thing here. I see an orange and a red that are misplaced, so I'm going to put these in. I'm going to create parity here, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm really just almost blindly looking for opportunities to do some parity fixes. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f, so we're good. So let's see, what else we got? Well, after a while, you're going to have to start just looking for things that you can make fit. Like here's an orange and red, and here's a red and orange. So these two can flip. Even if these colors aren't the same, that's okay. It's going to eventually match up to here. So we'll go ahead and put these in. 
2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. Now, I don't do a lot of strategy early on. I'm just sort of putting things in as much as possible. Red um, and orange, these two can flip. So without any further ado, let's put them in. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. Okay, so this is a pretty clean um, exchange over here. Now we can start maybe planning out what's going to be out at right angles. So if I put these in, now I'm going to be a little more cognizant of what I'm going to be moving here. Um, so I don't have a big problem with these two exchanging, I, I suppose, but if I did, I could try to coordinate things a little bit. But in any case, 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. Now, I don't have a specific strategy for each scenario. The only thing you have to know is that algorithm. And if you keep plugging and chugging, you'll eventually get it. So now I'm seeing white and yellow. These two can flip. So if I hold it here, these guys are going to flip, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. So that's okay. All right, so what else? Well, why don't we flip these two? The only problem is that if we flip these two, these guys are going to flip as well, and I don't know that I want to do that. So what if I hold it here? These two can flip, and these guys are out anyway. So why don't we do that? So now I'm looking for scenarios where not only will these guys flip, but the ones at right angles will flip too. So 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. So now we're getting closer. Now we're getting to the last four, and that's a question of setup, because you're always going to eventually get in that situation where four needs to be in. So let's see, we've got a green and blue, and we've got a blue and green, so these two can flip. I can set that up. The only problem is that I'm going to use these as innocent bystander. So here's a scenario that you're going to get to where everything is in on the top and bottom here and then you're going to have this middle layer. My suggestion is eventually you're going to have to get some parities over here to take out the other one. Um, so I can put this... Uh, well, let's see. Why don't we exchange this blue and this green with each other? I know I'm going to create parity here, but that's okay. I'm going to be able to use that because once I fix these, I'm still going to have another set of parity down here that I can put in and put in the one at right angles. So this is going to be the easiest one for me to work on. 2u, 2r, 2f, 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. Okay, so let's just put this in and see how it works. 2u, 2r, 2f. 2u, 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. Okay, so as predicted, these guys are out over here. So here's how to get out of this situation. Eventually you're going to come to here, which might seem like a trap. Um, if I hold it here, these can be taken out, but now I'm going to turn these upside down. Well, why don't we coordinate it to where both of these two are here? This is already here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down and move it to here so it's just across from here. So if you're in this situation, hold it here, and let's go ahead and do a 2L. Then we're going to do a 2D so that these two are now across from each other, and then a 2L. So what, that, what we're going to do now is put this back in, and it's going to flip-flop these two. All right, so then we'll do a 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U. 2f, 2r, 2u, 2f. Okay, once we've done that, now we have this configuration. Still hold it here, so you've got this on the bottom and this over here. And to get all of this back in, because we actually just assembled this, we just fixed all the parities. To get this back, once again, double turn this down here, 2l, then do a 2d, 2l to get it back, and it's solved. So that's how to do it with 180 degree turns. Those are all the situations. Again, just keep plugging and chugging. Get as many parodies as you can out until you're down to the final four. If you're down to the final four, it's probably going to look like the configuration that I just showed you. Let me know if there's any specific configurations that you've seen that I haven't gone over. But really, it's the same concept. So try that out. Let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.